everybody and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into it, some NFL action for week 13, I want to invite you to join so you will have access to this VIP club section which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so a lot of important games that get down to the home stretch of the NFL season. We're going to take a look at four of them, the one we've the ones we feel are kind of the most pertinent for uh, what's going on this week in the league. So as we scroll down through here, again, it's the full slate of games. We're going to take a look at four of them. The first one we want to look at here is the New York Jets and the Minnesota Vikings. We see the Jets come in average up. They are 2-2 two two over their last four and 4-2 four and two over their last six. While the Vikings are burning hot, they are 9-2 and two on the season. And they won last week 33-26 over... The New England Patriots. Minnesota is a favorite of 1.62 to 2.276 odds, with a point spread of 1.5 and the over/under set of 45.5. You see, Minnesota is given here a 57% chance of winning, and the score prediction has the Vikings by a 35 to 15 margin, with about 56% level of confidence. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see that Minnesota is at plus 27 while the Jets are at plus 20. How stable have the two teams been? Let's look at the volatility oscillator. With regard to their favorite underdog status, Minnesota is at 8, very stable, con compared to the Jets, who are just moderately stable at 0, and actually they've gone down in that category. They were at plus 1 back on September the 25th. Let's look at the movement in the money line, if there has been any at all. It's, and it looks like there's been quite a bit of movement here. Let's see. Uh, it opened up 1.549. This is the Vikings money line. Now you can see there's been up and downward movement, and you can see that it went to, got to 1.621 and to 1.641, and now has been steady at 1.621 ever since. In this game here, I like the Vikings. I don't see that the Jets are going to win this. Um, I like the Vikings at home to win and cover, and I think it's going to be a higher scoring game. So Vikings win and cover and over the line. Next game we want to look at is the Tennessee Titans and the Philadelphia Eagles. The Titans come in average. They're coming off of a loss to the Bengals 20-16, to and they are 4-2 over their last six games. The Eagles are burning hot. They, have, they are 10-1 on the season. They're coming off a 40-33 win over the Packers. You can see the Eagles are given a 71% chance of winning this game. They're favorites by 4.5 points. Uh, odds of 1.45 to 2.692, and the over/under set 44.5. If you look at the over/under, it's going to be a very interesting proposition. The Eagles are over in five out of the last six. The Titans are under in five out of the last six. Uh, the score predictor has the Eagles in a blowout, 40 to 20, which would be considerably over the line if this were the case, with the Coppins in prediction of 83%. Here's a and here's a good thing to look at here. Uh, recommendation odds. Here it says very high chance of 76% of a tight game that might be decided by a field goal. And that's the way I'm looking at this one here right now. Um, if you look at the power ranks indicator, the Eagles at plus 28. The Titans are steady at plus 24. If you look at the volatility officer, the Eagles have been a, about the most consistent team in the league at plus 9. And the Titans are moderately stable at plus 1. There's been a change in the line. There has been a change in the line. Um, here's the thing. There's been a move against the Eagles here. One, it started at 1.34. The sharp change in the line there going to 1.457. And it's now back up to 1.4 now at 1.45. So it's been a little bit more money coming in on Tennessee. I do like the Eagles to win, but I like Tennessee to cover. I think the Eagles win and a game going under the line by a field goal. So Eagles by a field goal under the line. And as we go down through here, we're going to take a look at Seattle and the Los Angeles Rams. The Rams are just a shambles, dead status. They are 1-5 over the last six. Seahawks have lost their last two, so they need to win, get back on track in the division, even though they're you know, doing well overall for the season, 4-2 uh, and two over the last six. They come in favorites of 1.3 to 3.46 odds. It's a point spread of 7.5 points with an over-under of 41.5. Seattle's given a 61% chance of winning this game. And the score predictor has Seattle by a blowout, four-touchdown blowout. I don't think it's going to be that big of a blowout. 
but Seattle 42 to 14 with about 49 percent level of confidence in the prediction and here's an interesting stat here well not stat but recommendation and odds it says here very high chance 93 percent of a tight game that will be decided by one goal does that mean a field goal or a touchdown I think that just means one score um, the power ranks indicator shows that Seattle is at plus 16 there on a downward trend and the Rams have completely nosedived from 19 down to 2. So if you look at the volatility oscillator, you can see here that uh, Seattle has been very inconsistent with regard to their favorite underdog status at minus 1, while the Rams here are at plus 3, so take that into consideration. Okay, um, if you look at the money line movement, you can see here that Seattle has opened at 1.621, and it uh, moved up to 1.3, more in favor of Seattle, and it's been steady at 1.3 ever since. So I really don't think there's much of a chance for the Rams here. I think Seattle is going to take this one. I like them to win pretty easily in a game going, uh, well, I don't know if it's going to be over or under. I'm trying to think about how I feel like this would go, but I think Seattle will definitely win and cover. And But I will pass on the over or under this one. Okay, we have one more we want to look at, Kansas City and Cincinnati, see both teams come in burning hot. Kansas City 5-1 and one over the last six. Yeah, uh, Cincinnati uh, also 5-1 and one over the last six. Uh, Kansas City, the 2.5 point road favorite with odds of 1.73 to 2.1. You can see the over under line here is at 52.5. And the percentages, uh, as you look at this chart here, Kansas City 4.59 and Cincinnati 41. If you look at the over-under, you can see that there's been four games under for Kansas City in the last six, while Cincinnati is five games over in the last six. The score predictor, if we go down to that, the score predictor right here, 35-21 Kansas City, but the confidence of prediction is very high at 87%. And let's take a look at this chart here. Power ranks indicator chart. You see Kansas City at plus 31, Cincinnati also going up at plus 23. Volatility, the stability factor. You can see both teams stable on a linear upward trend. This is for Kansas City at plus six, and Cincinnati has been stable at plus four. So in the end, what do we think about this one? If we take a look at every, all the information put together, you can conclude that it's going to be the Chiefs to win and cover in a game going over the line. All right, so there you have it. Those are the games for this week. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.